Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. In this workout, we're taking Terry Harper through a strength and power workout. We're on about five weeks away from a fight now, so we're now working on strength speed adaptations. Working on a range of different exercises, which are pointed out in the black writing. In the red writing, we're looking at some cues where we're looking to optimize the adaptation. This is really important, especially when working in such a short training block. This training block is going to be around about three weeks long. We need to make sure that we're optimizing every single exercise to maximize the adaptation from this training block. So for depth jumps, where we're jumping off a 45 centimeter box, going into a counter movement jump, we're looking for a 10% increase in a maximum jump height. So maximum jump height is around about 40 centimeters. So we're jumping off the 45 centimeter box, utilize the eccentric utilization during a jumping action, but not to overload that. Anything higher than this, will overload it too much and we're not able to produce that force and speed into the jumping action. Then we've got landmine punch throw. On here, we're using gym aware for feedback to create speed and intent. We've got trap bar count movement jump. Now on this, it's really important to get the loading right to optimize impulse. A lot of trap bar count movement jump work is often done too light. We use the loader jump profile at Boxing Science to highlight where the peak impulse is created. Mostly this is around 40 to 50% of the maximum count movement jump height. Today, we're having a look at what is Terry's optimal load on the trap bar jump. Then we're doing landmine split jerk. We find that optimal speed is around about 0.8 meters per second. So we're just looking at the ideal load to meet these velocity targets. Okay guys, so let's take a look at the workout. If you've got any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Better, 38, well done. Good, 38.9. Excellent work, 38.9. Good. 275, come on. Good, better. 279. Good. 285. Good. Thirty nine five to beat. Yes. 38.6. Good technique that. 397, beat it. Commit 40. 36. 39.7, good. So each time, got a bit better. Two eighty, good. Best one on there. Two eight two. Yeah, good. A few different weights to see what the optimal weight is. What we're trying to aim for is trying to get up to 50% of your jump height. Got a few calculations to see whether that optimizing impulse and momentum. 24.4. Excellent work. 22.7. Five kilos either side. 21.4. Dip and drive. Yeah, good work. 21.6. Dip and drive. Good. 18.5. Better than the last one. Yeah, nice work. Well done. Basically, impulse is equal to momentum. Best kind of way to describe that is mass times velocity. So if you're moving more mass quickly, then this will increase impulse. Impulse is the biggest contributor to the punch. We've calculated how much impulse that you're creating at different loads. What we're hitting there is 234 at 55. So we're using that data and calculating it from your jump height. This helps us optimize these jumps. So you're gonna get a lot more out of it. Your light blue line here compared to dark blue. Dark blue is the boxing science average. Maintain that jump height for a lot better than normal boxing science athlete. But what we need to work on is a bit of speed. We'll stay at this 55 kilos, drop down the weight and work on speed, get close to this line. These are fully grown men that you're comparing yourself to, so you're not even that far off. So your target on here is hit 0.8 meters per second. So we're dipping down a little bit like the counter movement jump, but not as steep. Okay, but you've got to 
make sure that you're using your hips and staying keeping your heels on the floor. Fully extend your hips, split, drop in between, yeah. 0 0.84, 0 0.91, good, 89, good, perfect to eat this, 89. You've gone into kind of using them knees rather than using your hips. So when you're in this position, use your hips, use your hips. You're going like this, leaning into it, using knees and dipping. Use the hips. Well, let's go, drive it. Three, two, one, excellent, well done. 26.5, faster. Go, three, two, one, brilliant. 31.4, go, three, two, one, good work. 31.1, let's go, drive, 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 drive. Yeah, good work. 31, let's go, three, two, one, good work. 26.9, 20% increase from last time, but your rate of force development is increased as well. So it's showing you how important like kind of peak force and rate force development kind of go hand in hand, how quickly that you can produce that force. So keep your feet planted and then whip it through. Yeah, that's better. Let's go. Three, two, one, good work. 30.9, pass an order, let's go. Three, Two, one, good. 40.9, oh! On, Drive it in. Three, two, one, good. 43.8, go! Three, two, one. 37.7, go! Three, two, one, nice work, well done, 32.9. Okay, thank you very much for watching this workout. If you've got any questions about the exercises used, leave them in the comment box below. If you're not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our future content. And hopefully see you on the next video of Boxing Science.